For solving this ugly number problem, you should have an idea about what exactly these ugly numbers are. So ugly numbers are those whose prime factors are basically 2, 3 or 5. The prime factors ugly numbers are those numbers whose prime factors are 2, 3 or 5. So suppose x is an ugly number. This would mean that the prime factorization of this x contains only the prime numbers 2, 3 or 5. Okay, so either of this or like you know, uh, no other prime factors should be included in the prime factorization of this particular x. So I can easily write x is equal to 2 power a, 3 power b, and 5 power c. This is nothing but the prime factorization of the number where. A, B, C are non-negative integers. So, 1 can be represented as 2 power 0, 3 power 0 and 5 power 0. And 2 can be represented as 2 power 1, 3 power 0, 5 power 0 and so on. 10 can be represented as 2 power 1, 3 power 0 and 5 power 1 which can be taken as 10. Now let us take an example to find whether the number, the given number is an ugly number or not. So the factors of this would be 2 and 3, right? So now no doubt these two and 3 belongs to our set which we have discussed like 2, 3 and 5, right? So, ugly numbers are those numbers whose prime factors are 2, 3 or 5. So, as 2 and 3 fall under our consideration, so we conclude that 6 is an ugly number. Now, take another example, 14. Finding whether this particular number is an ugly number or not. So, how can we multiply it? Like 2 into 7. Right. So, is this an ugly number? No. Because 7 does not fall under our set. What is our set? It's just 2, 3 and 5. As 7 is not in our set, so we can conclude that 14 is not an ugly number. So from 1 to 15, there are around 11 ugly numbers. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, and 15. Ma'am, why not 7 is included? Why not 11 is included? Why not 13 and 14 are included? Reason? See, take an example of this 14. Can be represented as 2 into 7. Where? This 7 cannot be represented in the form of our representation like 2 power a, 3 power b, 5 power c. This part cannot be represented in the form of 2 power a, 3 power b and 5 power c. That is the only reason we conclude that 14 is not an ugly number and 13 is also not an ugly number, 11 is also not an ugly number and even 7 is also not an ugly number. So, this is the basic idea behind ugly numbers. So, now let's look deeper into the concept that too using dynamic programming. So, our task is to find the nth ugly number. Like, you know, what is the fourth ugly number? What is the ninth ugly number? 
what is the eighth ugly number so our task is to find what number falls under fourth position what number falls under what ugly number falls under eighth position what ugly number falls under second position this is what the task to be performed so the important points to be observed over here are the first point take three variables like i2 i3 and i5 initially they will be pointed to zeros okay and then the second observation would be the smallest ugliest number will always be 1 the smallest ugliest number will always be 1 that means take an array name it as ugly and take a variable i which you have to be incremented in the loop and you all know the values the index values will start from 0 so this smallest that means the first number in an array would always be 1 that means in your program directly initialize the first index value with 1 and third point to be remembered is take three variables like next multiple of 2 next multiple of 3 next multiple of 5 as we have discussed initialize them with 2 3 and 5 okay now let's see the logic the next multiple of 2 will store the ugly at i2 into 2 the next multiple of 3 would store ugly at i3 into 3 and next multiple of 5 would store ugly at i5 into 5 so now we will have to loop through all the elements our task is to find what is the ugly number that is present in the fourth position as it is starting from zero this will become a fourth position what ugly number falls in the fourth position that is our major task so for this we will have to loop through all the elements so as we have got our set like 2 3 and 5 first you'll have to take the minimum among these values as we all are well aware the minimum among these values would be 2 right so the next the next ugly number would be 2 because the minimum value is 2 so we'll write Two over here and update your i value. Your i value is going to be updated. So now you'll have to update i two. That is updating i two is increment i two with or update your i two with one. Okay. So now we'll go through the logic. The next multiple value will be. the next multiple value will be ugly at i2 into 2 ugly at i2 is 1 that is 2 into 2 which becomes 4 now i am going to update it with 4 okay now i have got my new set 4 3 and 5 what is the next ugly number that is my second task so now find the minimum among this set 4 3 
and 5. The minimum value, no doubt, that is 3. Put it in an array. Okay. And increment i3. That is 1. And also increment your i value. Okay. And now we will have to update the next multiple value. That is ugly at i3 into 3. Ugly, ugly at i3 is 1. That is 2 into 3 which gives us value 6. So this would become a 6. Now I have got the other new set that is 4, 6 and 5. Among this new set which one is the minimum value that is 4. Now we are done with that. That is the program that we are doing. Finding out the Number that is present in the, the ugly number that is present in the fourth position. Ugly number that is present in the nth position. Okay. So, I took it as the fourth position. So, the value, the ugly number that is present in the fourth position is 4. So, this becomes my answer.